Today, we're going to compare the cameras on a Galaxy S24 Ultra versus the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. As you may know, the Xiaomi comes in two different color profiles, the Leica Authentic and Leica Vibrant. The Vibrant leans towards more of a typical cell phone color profile, while the Leica is more photogenic. I personally prefer the Leica Authentic, so I'm going to use this for the whole comparison. First, I want to say these two phones are beasts, and you can't go wrong with any of them. It really comes down to what's your personal preference for the phone in general, and of course, the color profile and all that stuff. But of course, I'm putting these two side by side just to let you know which one you prefer. Now for the Xiaomi, since I'm using the Leica Authentic, I noticed that it gives the picture a slight vignette and the overall shadows are just a bit deeper. Now it doesn't mean that it's underexposed, some people do like that because the shadows are supposed to be darker and they do prefer that more realistic darker area. Some other things to take note of is the ultra wide is just a bit wider on a Xiaomi and you can zoom in just a bit more at 120x versus the 100x on a Galaxy. And then for the 3x, it's more specific to the Xiaomi where it's 3.2x. Now for general use, the Galaxy gives you the option from 1 to 10x as quick buttons and I would say overall it's a really good range. On a Xiaomi is a little bit on the shorter end, it gives the ultra wide to 5x. Now for the photographers that really like more of the blurry background or just have a bigger sense of look, starting from the wide all the way down, you can clearly tell that there's more bokeh in the background and that's probably something you would prefer versus a general audience where they probably want to see more of everything in focus so they don't mind having a less blurry background. For me personally, I do like the bigger sense to look, but let me know what you guys prefer down below. Next, moving to portrait mode, I realized on a Xiaomi, you get two profiles. You get master portrait and Leica portrait. And of course, you still get that master lens system, just like on the regular 14 and the past model. For the quick buttons you get access to, the Galaxy gives you the 1x to 5x option. Whereas on a Xiaomi, it gives you the exact millimeters, which clearly indicates to me that this phone is more meant for photographers. Now for the Galaxy, I feel like it's a bit more realistic here just because the shadow is on my skin. Whereas on a Xiaomi, it feels like it's really boosted or having that HDR look. And between the two color profiles, I feel like the Leica portrait is something I prefer. I feel like it's a less pinkish on my skin. Now in low light, I feel like they both do really good in general. But at random times, I see one will do better at the highlights, whereas the other one does clip a bit more or show less detail. And even though shooting in the authentic Leica profile, it tends to crush the blacks a bit more, but during low light, it seems to expose it very well. Moving on to low light video, of course they both don't do very well on ultra wide, but stabilization is very good. It's like I'm on a gimbal on a Xiaomi. Whereas on a Galaxy, you can see more of a handheld floaty feel. And with all the harder steps I do, you can definitely see more micro jitters on a Galaxy as well. For the wide camera, the stabilization seems to be pretty even, and of course it looks the best using this lens. And even for video, the ultra wide is just a bit wider on the Xiaomi. And for the stabilization during daytime, the Galaxy looks a lot better, but I still don't think it's better than the Xiaomi. And then for the wide lens, just shooting in general, they both look very good. Now I did walk into the bush just to get some close up shots and to see the background blur. And as you know, just the same as the photo section, the Xiaomi does a better job at this. And I really like the natural blur we get. So in the end, these two phones are really good camera phones. I just feel like the Xiaomi just lean towards a bit more for the photographer. So let me know your thoughts down below and which one you prefer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.